next we will go into the tool and complete the specification of the mathematical model. But before that, let's take stock of what the tool knows after the geometry and the meshing step. If I go back to the pre-analysis framework, the, you know, we, in the geometry step, we input the domain. In fact, here we have four domains. So it knows, the tool knows that we need to solve um, four boundary value problems because we have given it four domains. And it, it knows the domains over which it needs to solve the boundary value problems. And it has, it knows that we need to solve the 3D elasticity equations um, because we drag static structural into the project page. And, but you know, we need to complete that definition of the governing equations. We'll do that and then we'll move on to boundary conditions. And in the meshing step, we gave it some key information about the numerical solution procedure. We told it what is the selected points at which we want to calculate the selected variables, and it knows that it needs to calculate displacements because we are working in a static structural project. And it also knows that you know the relationships between which nodes have to be written because we have specified the how the nodes are connected to form elements. Now let's go in and complete the definition of the mathematical model. So we'll complete the definition of the governing equations and then we will move on and complete the definition of the boundary conditions.